and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Crawling Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, we are going to be taking on the Arcanine Noble fight. Uh, which makes me a little bit nervous because things haven't been going well the past few episodes, as you may have noticed. We keep losing Pokemon just absolutely left and right. Um, it's been very painful and very not fun. Last time, we lost Talia. Moments after she evolved, it was really painful. I, I mean, I... <sighs> You'd think, you'd think being especially a defensive normal type against a ghost would have been great, but you'd be wrong. You'd have been wrong. And then also, uh, Caitlyn, our especially defensive uh, ghost Pokemon, who should be able to hit ghost Pokemon for weakness, also felt that, uh, boy, it was hard. So I was so excited when we caught the Chansey. And, and then it was even more exciting because I didn't know it was about to evolve, and then it evolved, and then it died. I'm sorry, Talia. I wish, I, I thought you were going to be a main stay on the team. <sighs> Farewell, friend. Caitlin, I had such high hopes for you as well. I wanted you to become a mighty Duskmar and to just crush our opponents. You were going to be such a good, like, ghost type. I feel like I've never really done a good ghost type on the Nuzlocke. I was so excited to finally do it. And now, <sighs> I failed immediately. It's been terrible. It's been terrible. Yeah, okay, so we have to go. The question, now, the thing is, we actually do have another ghost type we can bring in with Magnus here. We're going up against Arcanine. The fights themselves with the noble Pokemon aren't that crazy. Like, probably we're just gonna use Louisa, right? Like, let's be real, because Louisa's our big bad water type, and it's like four times weak to water, so there's that. Um, we've also got Kisses. I think we should move Kisses on, because Water Ground feels like good resistance for, and it's very bulky, Water Ground. Um, I, I, part of me, like, we already have ground type and water type, but for the sake of this exact fight, I feel like Kisses is going to be pretty solid in that regard. It, if we even need to switch to Kisses, though, right? Like, hopefully Luisa just carries us through the fight, no problem. Besides that, Kisses is kind of low level for this particular fight, uh, but we don't have, like, a super high level anything to come join the team. Like, we have Forge, the Togepi, who I guess we could maybe start getting some experience on. Like, I don't know, maybe. Fairy is good, flying is good, it's kind of bulky. We've had bad luck with Togepis before, but obviously Togepi, as a Togepi, isn't going to be great. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to have to get it up to Togetic at least before we get to Togekiss. And the Togekiss is probably a pretty solid Pokemon. Um, we also could go with Magnus, the other big ghost type. That could be pretty good. Um, I think for the time being, just for the sake of the fight, we're going to bring on Magnus. We don't know how that's going to go. Rotero, you got to feel like it's getting close to evolution, right? Like, we, we got to be getting close. We've got to be. Uh, maybe. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. I'm really considering, though, heavily Forge. That, that seems like quite possible. For after... Oh! Oh! Grit Pebble! Sack of Grit Gravel! Mm-hmm. Great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Do we have any, like, random, um... Da, 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 da. Nothing, no like big experience gainer things over here. Um, I guess we could probably use this stuff though, right? Move all at once. I don't have room. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that? Oh, we have because we picked up the grit pebble. That's why. Um, let's go ahead and move. What do we not probably need? This. Uh, move all at once. Yeah, we probably don't need that. We're gonna go ahead and move this all at once over, and then we're gonna use that immediately. Let's go ahead and use the Grit Pebble. We'll just give it to Big Merc, why not, right? So put it on defense, absolutely we're gonna do that. Uh, and then where's our Grit Pebbles? Our Grit Gravels, yeah, we're gonna use that. We're gonna probably go ahead and give it to Louisa. We're gonna improve attack because that's what we're gonna need against uh, our new foe, Arcanine. And now we have to get all the way back over to Arcanine as well. I gotta tell you, the team, like, it's unbelievable to me, like, the fortitude of Mercury and Louisa and Nice. Like, they've all lost so many friends at this point. Rotera's even lost some friends at this point. But it has made these three, like, a hardened trio. These three are tight. They've been together for so long. They've survived so much loss together. And, the, I mean, Kisses and Magnus, complete mysteries to me. Who's to say how these are going to go? I mean, it seems like everyone we bring on immediately perishes, and it makes me really sad. So, <clears throat> um, all we can do is try and build the relationship with our new team members and hope that they can survive far into the future 
and um, we'll, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best. I will say though, you know, I'm a little bit nervous going into the Arcanine fight because it's not super easy. Um, you have this like weird X pattern you have to deal with and that can be kind of tricky. We also had to come all the way back to camp, so now I have to travel all the way back over there. Well, I say all the way. We can probably go a little bit faster to here. Let's travel there real quick, and then we'll bask Legion over to uh, the Arcanine and prepare for battle, which hopefully goes just fine. Sticky Glob and Grain Cake. Boy, yeah, those are definitely the two items we were hoping to get, right? ba ba da ba and look, we'll transform into a fish. That can jump! Double jump! Oh, a Gyarados! Oh boy, that would have been kind of a cool catch. Um, or it would be a random, out of nowhere knockout, probably. We would, we would think, oh look, we're just gonna throw a ball and then we die and it would be terrible. Nothing ever works out in our favor. So, oh, the thing about the Arcanite fight, we're definitely gonna want to put Big Luisa up front. It's like, it's really much more about like throwing the bombs at them than the actual Pokemon fight. Uh, doesn't mean we don't need to be careful about who, about how it goes. But I think Luisa should just be able to come out and just blast um, the Arcanine. Pretty much no problem, you'd have to think. Fire Spit Island. We got the Magmar here, which of course could evolve into a Magmortar, which will have a literal cannon for an arm. That'd be amazing. We've had good luck with Magmortars before. Oh, look. Uh, part of me thinks maybe we should just go ahead and fight this guy, right? Give him the old fight. Give uh, Luisa maybe a, a, a last second little boost in EXP here. Why not? Let's see. We have... Oh, yeah, we're going to go Water Pulse for sure. Ka Water Pulse. Ka Dead Grappler. If we get, like, even a single level out of these, that'd be fantastic. What's this? Grit Dust? Grit Dust? Grit Dust feels like a good thing to pick up, right? We probably don't need this Grain Cake. Let's go ahead and discard that. Let's go ahead and pick up the Grit Dust. Can we use it? We can use it on Luisa. All right, special attack, why not? Do it, throw it on there. All the extra we can get for Luisa, right? We're just gonna run past these guys. Oh, there's too many of them. I don't wanna fight them all. I just wanna get to the fight. Let's just get to them. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right. The Arcanine fight. Okay, so the strategy is obviously just dodge as much as possible, right? Kablam, kablam, it's gonna be no problem. We're just gonna dodge like crazy. We're gonna throw our bombs. Oh, just like that. Luisa, are you ready? Yes, okay, good to hear, good to hear. You are gonna be our champion in this fight. Do you have it? We're just gonna get out there, we're gonna water pulse, and then it's gonna take one shot and that's all. We might even just, yeah, that's what it's gonna take. One shot with the water pulse, and that'll knock it down. Then we'll hit it with some bombs. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. Okay, great, glad we all agree. Super duper. I'm not nervous at all. Everything's going fine. This is, this game's easy, right? Oh boy, all right, there he is, big gold dog, big gold dog, we got it, we got it. It's no problem at all. Everything's gonna be fine. You guys are worrying too much, okay? This game's easy. There's nothing to worry about. We're not gonna, I'm not even worried about the Pokemon dying as much as I am just my own character getting knocked out. That would be the real problem. Oh gosh, yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. Let's go, hit him with the bombs, hit him with the bombs. He's gonna charge, oh gosh, we were off to a terrible start. We're already hit, I don't like that, not one bit. The good news is when you're fighting this guy, he will do this, he'll like charge up over there and then he'll, easy to dodge right there. Then you can just blast him with stuff. No, what are you doing, what are you doing? get over here right and then we'll just dodge and then he'll be in the wrong spot maybe we can just blast him down right here no problem you get some easy shots on him so we're just going to keep dodging keep dodging we've already been hit once this is bad okay this is the part where you just got to come up and go like this and then boom here comes Luisa okay now this is where it gets tricky okay because the question is we are four times powerful, so which makes me think if we just go like strong style water pulse, we should knock him out in one shot. However, what makes me really nervous about that is that <clears throat> if we don't knock it out in the one shot, then it's gonna have two shots on us. But I think I think we definitely got it. I trust in Luisa. Ready, oh gosh, oh gosh. And go all the way down, all the way down. Yes, 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 yes. Now we get real close and we just throw the bombs, right? Boom. Okay, come on. Faster, faster, faster. 
The closer you get, the faster you reset the bombs, and that's good. We're just gonna go right back over here. Oh boy, okay, what's he doing? Oh. Oh, so this is the tricky part. He puts this big ring of fire in the center, and now you can't get through that without taking damage. So, like, the next time he does that big charge up thing, he'll be on the other side of it, and that's when it gets really hard to aim at him. So we're just gonna let him come over here. So he's already halfway down though, so that's good. That's the advantage of, like, if he only does that, like, charge thing right there to, like, and stays on your side, then you can just keep blasting him. Because now, right now, I can't hit him. Or I can, but it's really hard to aim it. So, okay, he's down to the final, it's down to the final bar, but is he gonna get, ah, oh, see, this is the really tricky part. Can we hit him here? Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. It's so hard to aim, you can't, you can't get across. Oh gosh, we're just gonna get, I don't think this is a dodgeable attack either. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Oh gosh, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. No, we're just gonna have to survive. We're just gonna have to wear him down like this. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. We want it to stay on this side. Didn't stay on this side, he went way over there. I don't like that, I don't like that. Come back over here. Yep, that's good. And then maybe this can him. Maybe we can get him right here. Come on. Okay, I think we're gonna get him. I think we're gonna get him. Yes, 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 yes. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh. All about the bombs. All about the bombs. Don't it? Boom. Look at that slow motion. Ka bomb. Just like that. Just like that. Oh my gosh. My heart is pounding. <gasps> When he gets that ring of fire in the center, it's so unfair. Cause it's like, you can't, you can't, like you can hit him. I have done it. You can like aim it perfectly, but you have to aim it perfectly. And it's very hard to know like how close you can get to the fire before it burns you. And then you have to aim it just right. And the time is ticking and it's like, <gasps> the strange light has left Arcanine. It is vanishing into the space time rift. Yay. Oh gosh, freaking Arcanine. <gasps> Nerve wracking fight you guys. But Louisa did it as expected. As expected, the flame plate from Arcanine. Yay, all right, woo. We did it. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? Could it be Arceus themselves? Mmm, mm. aru. What was that, two different Arcanine cries just now? <gasps> the other Arcanine, and now it will be gone, almost no doubt. <gasps> what, was it there or not? The world may never know. Oh, now I understand. Do you? Do you? My little Growlithe. Ah, no, I misspoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine, you and I must now live apart so that we may attend our separate duties. Rawr. Now, now, I'll be well. You're strong, far stronger than me, in fact. Rawr. I would agree with that statement. <clears throat> From now on, let us each strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. All right. Now go, Lord Arcanine, your realm awaits. Into the volcano with you. <laughs> All right, hooray, we did it. We're amazing. We probably should, while we're up here, knock out some Magmars because we caught a Magmar, so that'll contribute towards research tasks. Always good. Oh, how odd, I certainly didn't. All right, but, but please, I hope you're joking. I'm easily scared, so what do I have to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? Okay, all right, come on, Iskin. Jay, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. Sorry to ask even more of you, but blah, blah, blah. All right, now then, Iskin, I believe we'd best be off. Right, 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 right. Ah, the forbidden love between tribes. Jay, that wasn't much use just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Lena wouldn't raise Growlithe to be the new lord and people on her clan were doubting her fitness as a warden, I urged her to put Growlithe through the proper training, but she snapped at me. This poor Pokemon saw his own father die, she told me. It's a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training. Those words left me with so much to consider. Like, should I keep wearing these uncomfortable shoes and walking around volcanoes in them? I don't know. I decided yes. And even when Arcanine became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzy and all I could do was watch. What about the bombs? Yeah, what about the bombs? Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs. Something you could have done without me. Well, that's pretty true. That's true. 
I did, I did do more than you. I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights, even as some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect the vast land of Hisui. All right, great. Hmm. Grant me another battle someday, Jay. Well, as long as I don't use two Pokemon next time, I think we'll be good. All right. Not really, uh, that was not very great last time. <laughs> Let's get off this up and up an island. <laughs> time to see the new water pulse, yay! Actually, that's probably a good thing to check up on, I, I suppose, right? Um, wait, no. It's my Pokedex here. I got it. I've played this game. <clears throat> Let's see, where is... Where is... Entire sewer. Let's go to Obsidian Field. Float Soul. What else can we be working on here? Time to do an Agile style move. 12. So we should be using some Agile style moves. That would be good. Number you've defeated with Grat. Nope. Number defeated. Number of different forms you've obtained. Time to... Okay. So there's not really much more we can do on that front other than... Um, oh, we've got that one done. Number defeated. Time seen. Use Rock Slide. Okay. Leap out of ore deposits. Oh boy. That's going to take forever. Number you've evolved. Okay. All right, well, not much we can do on that front. Let's see. We can probably go use some agile style moves, though. I guess. I guess. The next thing we need to do, I guess, really... Well, maybe we don't need to worry so much about these research tasks just yet. It's possible we got enough research done. Oh, come on. Already by catching the stuff we've caught. Um, so let's go, let's go check on that. Just stop. Stop bothering me. Magmar. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go back here and talk to the professor and see if we need to go do a research task, because if we do, oh boy, as we know, let's see. I see you've got 10 Pokemon. Yeah, let's report the findings. Da 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 da. How many of those Pokemon have already died? At least three. Uh, next. All right. Okay. Using Backstrike. See, using Backstrike helps. Good, good, good. Mm hmm Yep, yep, yep. Please be enough to get to the next star level. Please, please, please. Uh, I see. I'll update the Pokedex. Yeah, insufficient data. I'd, I'm not liking my odds here, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no! Re I have... I have to get 1,800 more? Oh no, this is, this is, this is, oh gosh. Oh boy, this could be rough. Now the good news is we got the Basque Legion. So we could go back to like some of the earlier places and catch stuff that was formerly out of reach because now we have stronger Pokemon and ways to reach those Pokemon. So we can do some semi-quit catching in that regard. Um, but boy, oh boy, this could take a second to do some research tasking tins, couldn't it? Yeah, it could. It could. Maybe we won't need it. Maybe she'll be like, yeah, you can go to the next area. Never mind anything at all. Everything's great. You're awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't helpful. I guess we have to go talk to the commander now. All right, let's go. There's that scam artist down there with his satchel and larger... All right, dude. Huh, you did well on the mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. Now, your efforts there aided not only the Galactic team, but the Pearl Clan as well. <clears throat> I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space time rift somehow. If we're able to get rid of the rift, it should be clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though how we might actually close the rift, I have the slightest idea. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Sumo! Remain true to the mission. The Lordless Island. All right, great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not looking good. It's looking like research task time is what it's looking like. Oh, boy. That could be pretty rough. That could be rough. If you notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used the Pokemon's flames to roast them. <laughs> bon appetit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that guy. The, peer, the birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to the Fire Spot Island to witness the event myself. Hmm. Could you enrod in the Basque Legion in the first place, Professor? 
Come now, you know my coordination is so poor I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks, quite literally save my own skin. <laughs> of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fierce beast like Basque Legion. Well, that being said, hmm, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And strive I shall, for the sake of my research, I will surely ride a Pokemon uh, one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. You just watch, posterity. All right, well, it's a potato mochi. Yum, 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 yum. The next day. Ah, now what's gonna happen? Lightning strike, another noble Pokemon. Mm hmm. Am I gonna have to go level up? Did they catch some pokes? Some mons? We shall see. Oh, good morning, good lady who came from the sky. Yes, that's me. Dragon Man. Commander Kamado told me to let you know here what's your arrival in his office. I was just there! Man, these, the, 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 the in between quests, man. Everyone's got so much to say. Alright, at least I'm having to run up the stairs again. Jeez. No, oh, great. I have your next orders. You must go to the Corlet Highlands to quell another frenzy noble. Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Oh, I do like the Electrode in this game. Electrode has a propensity to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzy, those electro outbursts have become giant blasts. <laughs> well, we'll be enlisting the Proclans aid. It's carrying your safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead to Irida asking, No, you don't. You don't have permission to go up there. Oh, so, oh, this guy. Oh, my gosh. So annoying. So annoying this guy is. Mm-hmm. Hey ho, boss man Kamado, I thought it might be slipped your mind to say No, that's not gonna be the voice. Hmm. Where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Yeah, well, there's an issue right there, Adam, and how exactly did you do intend to discuss Electro without me? Yes, mighty one in here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Jay to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Yeah, come on, it's me you're talking to. Humiliate me here in front of our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Excuse me. Noodle? How dare you. Commander, I'm sorry for this helpless interruption. Oh, pain no mind. It seems even to Kirk got personal. I trained myself could not stop one so capable as one in melee. That being said, yes? It is clear that the security corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. <laughs> Hear that, Mela? The security corps will sob themselves asleep tonight thanks to you. The commander's sumo moves can even send boulders flying. <laughs> no, no, okay, we got it, we got it. No, go! Cool. Yeah, but are we going to be able to go there? That's the question. Can we go there, or are we going to have to do a bunch of research tasks? Listen, Melly, the galaxy team will... At least, Jay is amazing, and we'll prove it. Follow me outside. Yeah, noodle. All right, can we expand our satchel a little bit more? That'd probably be good. Teach me! Yeah, go for it, dude. Yeah, uh huh. Whoa, just like that. Now we can put more things in there, because we folded things in. This guy's like Marie Kondo, right? He's just like, yeah, I'll teach you how to fold things better, and you'll have more room. It'll be amazing. You're great. I'll just keep teaching you new folding methods for your berries. All you gotta do is just fold these berries right up. 1500 my gosh. Gouging prices all of a sudden. Alright, alright. Alright, that'll be enough for now. Maybe later, dude! Maybe later, but you're right. The more space, the better. Alright, now what do I gotta go do? So many little fights in this game. So much, so much walking around. Hi. Am I gonna fight you? And you're dumb. Leafeon? Alright, Jay, go around with me. Uh, let's not. Hold on. Hold on. You can't just surprise me with a fight. All right, hold on. Let's see. He's going to use Leafy on, so let's just, let's just, let's just run through everything real quick. All right, so we know we got Fire Fang. All right, that's good. We're probably going to go with that. We also have Mystic Fire on Magnus. All right, so we're just going to lead with Luisa here, obviously. Not Luisa. Mercury! The mighty Mercury. Unstoppable force. Unstoppable electric lion. All right, then. All right, then. Let's do this, Mercury. All right, Jay, go around with me. You bet! <laughs> you can't handle me. Melee, make sure you watch closely now. Mm-mm. Yeah, all right, then. 
Is he gonna have the double fight? Is he gonna do the same thing that Irida did and have like an extra EV going on? Cause that'd be so lame. Yes, he is. Come on, what is with these cheaters? Calm mind, I swear. Yeah, immediately go ahead and raise your defense. I get it, I get it. Just a bunch of cheats all over the place, man. Um, part of me thinks we should thunder wave it and part of me thinks just go straight up for the fire fang. The Eevee I'm not that worried about and we'll get to go again. So let's just go ahead here. I don't think the Eevee's gonna hurt us that much. We did not even do half damage though with that fire fang, which is a bummer. Oh, it used quick attack. You got the double hit in on me. I wish we had strong style for the fire fang cause I don't think we're actually gonna knock out the the leafy on here. Hmm, it is unfortunate, but I think it's still the best move. We could burn it, and if we burn it, that'll knock it out. Also, we could get like a crit or something, so let's just go for it. We haven't taken that much damage so far, but I swear if the, oh, come on, give it the burn, give it the burn. Nothing, leaf blade, that shouldn't actually be that much. <gasps> okay, what's this thing gonna do? Quick attack me, agile style. Agile style what, quick attack? If you, I swear if this thing knocks me out. If I get knocked out by an Eevee, hmm. -mm. Okay, so we're gonna have an attack on the Leafeon, no problem. Let's see, we wanna use something this time I think that has 100% accuracy, so there is no doubt. And then we'll get to go again, because Leafeon should have the next move according to the action order. And then we'll just knock, and then we'll use that to heal, right? Yeah, we're just gonna crunch the Leafeon. Yeah, you're going down, bam. No doubt, we don't need any risks. Now it should be our turn again. What? All right, and then just because we're gonna be um, extremely cautious because we absolutely cannot lose Mercury. I don't think this thing has any chance of knocking us out now, but um, you know, we wanna just be very, yeah, level 18. Maybe we just should have gone for that right out of the gate. Just boom, knock it out. Don't even let it like, chip us down. New move for Eevee! Maybe we can evolve our Eevee, hmm? You see how good Jay is now? Yes, no more sneering at her. <laughs> now I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was gonna meet you at the training ground once you're ready. Till later, Jay. Glad to have your help, as always. Hmm. Sh shift yourself unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. No, oh, come on, Adam, and cut me some slack here. That guy's so annoying. Join me in the survey, Korok. We'll go over the particulars of the new mission. All right, all right, all right. And then we have to go talk to someone at the training grounds. So many, so many things to do. You quell one Arcanine. Hmm. Your survey work will take you to the Korok Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. To take the Highlands, you must achieve the rank of fourth star. You know how. Evolve Pokemon into other Pokemon. Use items to stun them or induce other effects in the wild. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank. And aid any requests that might be found on the professor's blackboard. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Let's see, it seemed like maybe there was another little fight we needed to do or something. Let's see how our Pokemon are looking real quick. Yeah. They're all looking pretty solid, at least full. Um, bop, 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 ba, da, bop, ba, da, bop, bop, ba, da, bop, ba, ba, do. They said the training grounds, right? What, were we supposed to go fight someone over here? Maybe? I don't know. Hey! Let's see, I want some new moves, man. Show me your best moves. What can you teach nice? 80 and 100, let's see, but that's a special attack move and our special attack's not that low. Thunder Punch, now that's pretty interesting because if we came up against like a water type or something, we could then like pfft, surprise it. Of course, I wouldn't want to stay in against the water type either way, right? So I think we're gonna hold off on that. Luisa, what can you learn? Icy Wind, Iron Tail, now we're talking, now we're talking, all right, all right. Maybe, Luisa, maybe. That would make us, that would give us something good to fight against. Let's see, Ice Punch and Iron Tail, both, hmm, both nice, I think Ice Punch for sure. Let's go ahead and get that in. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, move pool expanded. We're probably going to go ahead and use that. Mercury, do you have anything? Any great new things we can lose? Iron tail as well. Charge beam? I don't think that's actually going to be that good. 50 and 90? Because we're, yeah, we're specially, we're physical attacks anyway. That's what we want. Yeah, snarl. Mm, no, don't think so. And then, I don't know if you two really have quite earned the, uh, earned that. Yeah, let's see. Calm mind, baby doll, swift, quick attack. So we don't really have like a super good attack on you yet, but we're also not evolved yet. So we're just going to sort of hold off on that. All right, nothing in particular. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and give Louisa the... Oh, we have Hydro Pump available to us now. Well, 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 that's that's excellent. We're gonna, oh wait, no. Aqua Tail. Wait, let me check something right here. Physical attack. That's power 60, that's power 85, but lower accuracy. Hmm, I think we definitely still wanna do that instead of Water Pulse though. And then I think instead of Aqua Jet, we're gonna go for Ice Punch here. And then honestly, instead of rock, rock smash hasn't been that helpful either. So maybe we should go ahead and just get rid of that for hard hitting stance. This is increases damage by 50%. This increases both. Both seems better. I don't think we need rock smash though. That doesn't seem as good. Crunch might be the way to go. Then we'll have ice, water, and dark. Let's go ahead and put that there instead of rock smash. Okay, that's a pretty solid um, boost for Luisa. Yes, happy with the new move set. Ba boom. All right, Luisa's move change. Yeah, three new moves for Luisa. That's pretty big. It's pretty big, no doubt. All right, now the problem is, of course, that we're going to have to go get um, some new research tasks completed, which could be quite an endeavor and honestly feels a little bit like its own episode but I'm gonna do one more thing right here before we head out for the day and I think that's going to be we're gonna switch out team members uh, I think instead the question I think because we already have ground and water I think I'm just gonna shift kisses for forge at the moment and maybe forge can pick up some experience maybe if we can evolve forge quickly into a togetic we can start taking advantage of that fairy typing because that's very good to have in this game because you never know when it becomes sort of like dragon situation also has lots of resistances and can hit pretty hard uh toga kiss is a pretty defensive pokemon so that's pretty solid uh yeah and hopefully rotero you gotta think is getting near evolution time right you gotta think but anyway next time we head out we're going to be working on some research tasks so we can you know, progress through the rest of the games. Thankfully, we have the Basque Legion, so we can travel to new places and catch new things. There are some cool things I think now we can catch in the Crimson Mire lands, including perhaps our own dragon-type Pokemon. What? That would be exciting. You know how we love dragons on this team. Uh, uh, historically. Historically. Those darn Bidoof! I know, right? Those darn Bidoofingtons. Oh, well. All right, anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for uh, hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe button. That really does help out the channel so much. Um, oh, this has been quite a journey. And look, no one died today, right? No one died today. That's the important thing. We made it through a whole episode. We had battles against the noble Pokemon and against the clan leader, and we were victorious. So, you know, that's that's worth a round of applause right there. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I will uh, see you next time. Bye. And before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineres, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Ballantyne, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out.
dead, Spork. <laughs>